Hey everybody and welcome here to another episode here on Talk Daily where we're going to be talking about the EA85 uh, rumored, rumored challenger that is going to be coming with 909 horsepower. Before I go any further, this article comes with some car and driving and written by Brian Sylvester. So let's dig right into this juicy story. So what's going on? If you're, if you're, you know, you, you tune cars and modify, we modify cars, cars are like, you know, part of your body that, you know, oh my God, I love cars. I tune them, I work on them. You're probably very familiar with the adding more horsepower to your car, you know, turbocharged, you know, supercharged or what, whatnot, and nitrous oxide. And uh, using ethanol, E85, is one of the th things that people use. I mean, I'm quite familiar with it from back in my days with my, you know, my Lancer Revolution and whatnot, and you need Santo 40SX. And I mean, this is the Japanese domestic market, but it uh, applies also to, any vehicle you know putting a85 in your car just gives you more power just because the fact the 85 just has a little bit more oxygen in it though if you didn't know about that again i'm not an expert of the subject but um i kind of give it a rundown if you have i don't know a, a, a cup whatever measure of volume you want to use a cup a glass a liter a gallon of uh, gasoline will give you x amount of range right and that's the range you will be able to drive now the same volume with ethanol E85 will give you a little bit less. So the, whatever the range would be with gasoline X, if this, the volume with E85 will be X minus N and yay, math. So um, that's pretty much the gist of it. It just gives you a little bit more oxygen, but it doesn't have as much energy in it as a gasoline would. Okay, it has potential, but not as much. So again, in the comments below, I bet you some engineer works on this will go, oh, that's how it works. I know it's great, fine, yeah. The point is that this Challenger is going to have a 909 horsepower, 909 horsepower. And if you do the math and the demon had 69 horsepower less than this Dodge Challenger, whatever the name is going to be, uh, demon had uh, 69 less horsepower. So that kind of gives you an idea. That's a fantastic. That's a lot of horsepower, a lot of horsepower. I mean, Hey, dude, I, what are you going to do with all that power? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you could say that, uh, I mean, to me, 800 plus horsepower is already plenty, but no, 909. Uh, again, there's other cars out there that has a lot of horsepower. So again, it's just, these cars are really, in my opinion, definitely like the Demon, and this car is going to come out. It's definitely going to be a collector car. I guarantee you someone like Jay Leno will get this car, ride it from the factory, put it in a showroom. This car is going to be well thought after. I mean, by this car, I'm talking about the car. And we don't, this is not a picture of it, okay? We're talking about the 909 horsepower one is going to come out. It's definitely going to be a fantastic car. It's, it's just fascinating to me. It's just, it's amazing. And uh, here's the thing, 15 year run. This car has been in run for 15 years. And that's what they're doing. It's like the final hurrah, you know, that, you know, Mopar is going to make it, Dodge is going to make that. And it's going to say, you know, this is uh, our farewell to this uh, production for this vehicle. And, uh, I don't know about y'all, but for me, I feel like I feel old because I remember when this car was new. I still look at him like, that's oh, a new car. <laughs> it's not. It's been around for 15 years. So it's just fantastic that Dodge and Mopar are actually uh, uh, going to be treating us to a, a vehicle that's going to be super exciting and a collectible. And, you know, re, uh, you know, it's just something exciting. I'm very happy about it. I can't wait to see it on the road, but I have a feeling it's going to be one of those cars. Again, it's going to be, you know, prize gouging. It's going to be definitely a thing. Need a markup and good luck finding one. But if you're one of those lucky few, and I'm going to think it's few because I cannot imagine they're going to make a lot of it uh, who are able to get hands on it. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with it because um, it, obviously, you know, about the Dodge Challenger, it had, it ran on race fuel and race fuel is something like, I don't know, 110 octane, 100 octane. I, I don't remember. Um, this one's going to be running on uh, flex fuel, which is a lot of trucks have them. I mean, if you're not familiar in the United States, we have flex fuel, which is our gas has EA85 in it. Regardless, you, you're filling up at, at the gas station, there's some ethanol content, you know, here in California, up to 10% or whatever it would be. Um, so any neck you would might be different, but fuel already has in it ethanol. So this one is going to have in it ethanol just runs on straight up ethanol or flex fuel, whatever that, you know, the name of that fuel is, I think it's called Flex Fuel. So, uh, anyways, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be an amazing car. And uh, remember, it's going to have all the horsepower without the issues that like run down with, you know, people might have when to modify their car. I mean, not a not a nine horsepower, a stock vehicle, stock warranty and whatnot. The stock, not a nine horsepower. And you know that thing is going to run because I engineered it to run with nine horsepower. I mean, by me, an engineer that looked at all aspect from the brakes to the tire to the suspension. 
Uh, and we all know, I mean, I, I love my muscle car people out there, but you know, like uh, the model, which is, it's, it's changing. I hope it's changing. But back in the day, it was, there's no, dis, you know, replacement for displacement and whatnot. You know, I used to make fun of it, like, you know, 1.8 liter Honda screaming and, you know, they're like, haha, I have like seven liter engine. Uh, that's kind of been the, the idea, but uh you have to understand you know you need braking you need traction you need to turn and these cars right now these modern modern uh, modern muscle car they do handle i mean you can take them to the track last time at you know streets of willow i'm obviously i'm on the job and i'm like well they're gripping you would expect the big boat not to handle but they do handle i'm not gonna say they're gonna handle the same as a small little car but laws of physics still do apply but they're doing a very good job of providing you that horsepower with a good level of traction i, I consider it to be safety honestly you know the braking, the handling, it's all included in this package. So these cars have been fantastic. Uh, they, the, the people are engineering them. They're doing a great job engineering these cars. And this 909 horsepower is coming up down the line. It's going to be fantastic. And if you don't want to know the details, where they got the idea from, where this article got the idea from, they're just saying a source. They're saying a Mopar insider is signing an unnamed source close to the project. Claims Dodge is planning a new Challenger SRT Hellcat model that's able to run. E85 fuel. And Arthur was on explaining E85 fuel with the flex fuel. So we don't know when that car is going to be out, but um, I know, I mean, they're saying a 15 year run, uh, Dodge planning to retire the retro muscle car. So we're probably thinking 2024. So in 2024, you're going to get a last hurrah of this uh, amazing vehicle, the Dodge, and uh, it's going to have 900 horsepower. I think that's fantastic. I think that's amazing. So, uh, anyways, uh, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to buy this car? You are thinking about it? You think it's going to be amazing? Or do you think it's just going to be, I mean, maybe you like the demon because the name. Again, we don't know yet what's the name is going to be. Um, they haven't mentioned anything. Uh, again, the picture here, the one you're looking at is a SRT super stock. So, it's, it might look different. This force is not going to be a completely different car, okay? It's still the same chassis. So, uh, it's just going to have probably different um, cues. Maybe the... The headlight, remember the demon? Like the demon literally ripped one of its eyes out and goes, I need air, I need air intake. It just, just ah, I can't even love the demon. I think it's a fantastic car. So I think it's going to be something similar to it. Um, anyways, as always, uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Bye bye.